Google is really great about not only finding you information, but also finding additional information that will help you with what you really seek. So you'll come to Google with a problem, and sometimes that additional information, that con context information, can be incredibly useful. Let me show you some mechanisms that Google has to help you out with this. As you can see, sometimes the search results give you a little more than you asked for. Sure, you have the blue links on the left-hand side. That's what we see here. But over here on the right-hand side, we have what's called a knowledge panel. The knowledge panel is additional information we know about that entity. In this case, I've done a search for Sagittaria, which is a kind of water plant. And in, over here on the right-hand side, Google has provided this knowledge panel, which is populated or filled up with things we know about that entity, that thing in the world, in this case, the plant, with information we know about it. For example, its scientific name, its classification, its rank, and so on. Okay, so what we're doing is Google is giving you the knowledge panel to help support your search. Let me show this to you live. So I'm going to do this search, Sagittaria, and you can see the knowledge panel on the right. Now what you might not know is that not only can you click here and get more images of that thing, in this case the water plant, but you could also roll over these different things, these different items down here below. In this case you see scientific name, rank, these are all clickable items. So if I want to find out more, for example, about the rank or the classification, the upper biological classification of this plant, I can click on that. Let's just do that. I can click on a higher classification and it tells me that Sagittaria, these plants, are a member of this larger family. I won't try to pronounce it, but you see the point. You can start to search around through that space of options and additional information provided on the side. So what we have here is Google trying to give you additional knowledge about the thing you're searching for. There are a few other things to notice here. For example, often you'll see as you type that Google is trying to give you some suggestions or it's trying to autocomplete as you type. So for example here, I've started to type Sagittaria, but below the search box there are a few other options. Sagittaria latifolia, the full Latin name, and Sagittarian arrows. So you see those are the completions, that is the other ways that people might have completed what it is you're typing. This is really handy because it not only allows you to type more quickly, but also gives you a sense for what other concepts this prefix, these, these letters you've typed so far, could be expanded into. Again, let me show this to you live. So watch as I type here. Sagittar. Now you see at this point I'm only up to Sagitt TT, and so Sagittarius is the most probable completion of that. Taria. Okay, now when I've typed the whole Latin name of that plant, other possibilities are suggested. In this case, Sagittaria is the plant. Sagittaria is a broadleaf, uh, particular kind of plant. Sagittarian is still a possibility, and so on. You see what it's trying to do? It's trying to take advantage of all the other queries that people around the world have made and allow you to see which one of those is the one you really want to do. Sometimes this is a really great way, especially if you can't type very well, this is a great way to get to the thing you really want to as quickly as possible. Now one of the things that can happen as you search is you can have what's called search as you type or Google Instant. That is, as you search for a word or a concept, Google will start to fill in the results behind you as you type. This is kind of interesting because it sometimes allows you to do things that you don't know how to ask otherwise. Here's an example. Suppose I'm looking for a book about oranges by a Scottish author. Now, I don't know how to say that to Google, right? How do you say Scottish author, book about, or that's crazy. But sometimes I can recognize that. I'm going to take advantage of Google Instant to help me out. Here, here we go. So I'm going to start typing oranges book. Now, I have not yet hit enter, right? I have not yet hit the enter or return key. And yet, Google has already filled in a bunch of results based on what I've typed so far. So Orange's book, and you can see below that, immediately below that are the suggestions or the auto-completions. Those are other things that other people have typed, other queries they've made. But behind that, Google has already filled in the results. 
So what we can see here is that the very first item is Oranges by John McPhee. Now, I happen to know John McPhee is an American author, but he has a Scottish name. So look what's happened. I've recognized the solution to my question, right? Scottish author, book about oranges. There's no other way to do this easily. But with Google Instant filling in the results, you can recognize often what it is you're really looking for. So summary. As you type, suggestions appear immediately below the query. Also, as you type, Google Instant will fill in the results behind the query. So you're getting two additional pieces of context information. Other ways to complete this query, other ways in which results can satisfy that query. So this is really handy because sometimes if you're not really sure what you're looking for, for example, the Scottish author, you can often recognize what it is you're looking for in the search results. This is a way of exploring very easily. Another thing I want to point out is we have what's called related searches at the bottom of the page. So related searches are just searches that other people have done on this topic, but not necessarily exactly what you've typed so far. The reason this is really handy is it sometimes will get you out of your conceptual box. That is, it will give you other ideas of ways to look for related topics, related terms, related concepts. So what we're seeing here for the search Sagittaria are these related concepts here at the bottom of the page. Let me show this to you live again. So here we are with the query Sagittaria. I'm going to do it. And you see the results as we've seen before. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and see down here, searches related to Sagittaria. So there's a bunch of other searches, including one that we now know is the family name for Sagittaria. But see, it's not, doesn't contain Sagittaria anywhere in it. So this is a related concept, a related search. Again, incredibly useful for sometimes opening up your horizon just a little bit. So what you see here is that Google is giving you some additional ways to look at information more broadly, more contextually than you might have thought. We have auto-suggest or the suggestions or auto-completions. We have those related searches we just saw. We have instant search where Google searches in the background and we have the knowledge panel results on the right hand side. These are all incredibly useful for expanding your horizons on the topic you're searching for. Good luck with that.